is up my celebs? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, some stuff that you should bring to like a convention um, because I'm going to be going to PAX East next week so if you're going I will see you there and uh, I'm just going to give you a little rundown of what kind of things you should bring to you or with you to a convention so let's begin. So the first thing that you obviously are going to need is your pass. Your pass is your life. If you don't have your pass you can't enter the convention. And without this pass, you can't play video games. So yeah, make sure to get your pass or to receive your pass in the mail. If you haven't, you should contact the convention or the people that do that stuff and stuff. The next thing that you might want to have is a backpack. Now, I use this for every convention I have gone on since Paxi's last year, Pax Prime, Minecon, CES. This has been my lucky buddy. I have been using this for every single convention Every, I just use it for every convention. It's my lucky pack. But make sure you get a pack, backpack that has a lot of pockets, a lot of little individual stuff that you can store stuff in here. And I'm going to show you what you can store in here. So the next thing you might need is your phone, obviously. Uh, your phone is going to be good for maybe looking up the map. Uh, I know for packs they have an app called Guidebook. And if you press, uh, if you find the, uh, the guidebook uh, inside, uh, if you're App Store, you might find it. And you go to the search button and you look for PAX East 2014 and it should look something like that. So I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's kind of blurry. Uh, it's blurry. <laughs> but they have a little app and they have the little map and they show you the expo hall and that way you don't get lost and you can find your favorite booth and uh, play your favorite video games or get your favorite merchandise or whatever. And then from that, I would uh, recommend bringing your charger because sometimes the, some booths there's, there has been booths uh, uh, in the past that do have charging stations, but it's not guaranteed that like anyone you know will bring a charger station for you. So make sure you bring your phone charger because you might want to need it for later in the date if your battery runs out. So another cool thing to bring is some... Another cool thing is to bring Sharpies. If you meet a fan and you don't have a Sharpie, how are you going to sign their epic stuff? Now, for me, I don't like to ask my friends that are next to me, Hey, can I borrow your pen? Um, uh, I'll just take it for a second. They never give it back. They never give it back. I'm just joking. Um, well, no, no I'm not really joking. That's just what happened. They never give it back. But, um, make sure you bring your freaking, uh, bring, uh, Sharpies so you can sign, uh, your stuff for your fans. If you're a YouTuber, of course. If not, if you just want to bring Sharpies for the lols, then bring them for the lols. <laughs> The next thing that you should bring is some gum! Oh, oh I love gum. Uh, the reason I say this is that you, of course, are going to start eating some stuff. There's going to be lunch and then you didn't bring your toothbrush. Who brings your toothbrush to a convention? No one. So I recommend bringing gum because gum will save your breath from stinkiness. Oh yeah. Trust me, I've, I've been in there. Bring gum. The next thing I would recommend bring is some chapstick because Throughout the whole entire day, you are going to be talking like no freaking other, I bet you. No, I know so. I know. Uh, make sure you get some chapstick, that way you don't have some, uh, you know, chapstick, or chap lips. And uh, maybe you saw a little cosplay girl and you said, hey girl, it's my guy. No, I'm just joking. Don't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if you, you flow that way, but, but no, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, bring some chapstick, that way your lips will be... Next thing that you should bring to a con is your wallet! How are you gonna buy your awesome merchandise if you don't have your wallets, dude? Or do that? Uh, make some room in your thing and bring some cash. I, I have coins. All, all the cash I have. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, make sure you bring a wallet. Uh, make sure it's secured. Sometimes I would recommend putting it in the front of your pocket or in your backpack. That way, uh, uh, no thief will get your money and the uh, information of your debit and your credit cards and whatever you have. So yeah, make sure you bring your wallet. The next thing I would recommend from the wallet is to buy water. Now water, I would recommend bringing like at least four to three bottles in your backpack. Now why I say this? Because convention water is super, oh this is really cool. I'm sorry, this is, uh, convention water is super expensive. And to save money, it's better if you buy it outside of the convention, uh, in a little pack or something like that, or anything like that. Or it doesn't even have to, whatever you drink, just 
buy it outside of the convention because everything inside of the convention is very expensive and especially food. Food is so expensive in the convention. And the next thing, uh, this is optional, but since I'm a content creator on YouTube, I like to bring business cards. Now I just got these made. Oh my god, they're so awesome. Look how awesome they are. Um, but I got these from a company called Moo.com. They make business cards and all sorts of other stuff. And they did an amazing job. I'll put the link in the description of what you can, uh, if you want to get business cards, I'll uh, have like a 10% discount. I think that's what it is. But if you want to have like, you know, make business and do that business attire or whatever, bring business cards and uh, like that. Ooh, fancy smancy. Maybe you can get a free code or free game or something like that. Or do your little business, whatever you do. Whatever you fancy. Another cool thing to bring to PAX is a DS! Ah, oh, a 3DS. This is my 3DS. I've actually never brought, I actually have brought my 3DS to a convention, but I've never actually brought it to the con. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, people that bring their uh, DS, you know, PS, uh, the Vita, whatever it's called, uh, to the conventions and they meet other people and they play. I know uh, po Pokemon, uh, uh, I forget the other one. <laughs> what? Pokemon's the only one, okay, don't judge. Pokemon's the only one I play on the 3DS, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really need to get into some game. But, uh, yeah, bring your uh, th DS, 3DS, whatever, your little handheld console and play with your little new friends at the convention and it's really fun to bring. I mean, you never know what you might do. You never know. <laughs> Another thing to do is to bring your camera. You might want to take some pictures, some video footage of the convention. Uh, of course, I can't show you my camera because I'm using it right now. So, uh, but with that said, that's pretty much what I can tell you of what to bring to a con. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys at PAX East next week. I will be there with the rest of Team MV. Just actually, uh, I would say half of Team MVG is going to is going to PAX next week. So. I hope to see you guys there, and I will see you slabs later. Peace out!